Hello guys, what's up? It's Matt here. First of all, I apologize because uh, I would like to actually upload this video a bit earlier. Um, but I've been busy, uh, I've been working on my publication. I have some stuff to do today. Uh, it's a bit of a late training, this one. But anyway, I will get it started. Today I'm doing chest uh, and I will uh, work you through basically three exercises. You can easily do it on with a pair of dumbbells. Um, I will normally not start with dumbbells. Uh, if I have access to a gym, I will start with big compound movements, usually uh, after I warm up properly, or at, at least uh, I'm able to warm up the muscle groups I'm gonna train. Um, after uh, I warm up properly, usually I start with big compound movements, so uh, bench, if I'm training chest, uh, squat, uh, if I'm training legs, and so on and so forth, basically, but hey, here <laughs> I don't have access to those gym equipment, so I just quickly warmed up and now I'm gonna start. So I have here a pair of power blocks and I'm gonna start with 40 pounds. Should be about um, 18 kilos and I will work uh, the way up to 70 pounds, which is the maximum I have right now. So, all good, let's start. is low. Okay. So, okay, when it comes to dumbbells, usually I start with uh, about 20 reps with a weight I feel uh, comfortable with. Um, and then I move all my way up uh, until I cannot get uh, at least five, six reps. And usually um, my max on dumbbells is about 80 pounds, I think uh, 35 kg. I don't have access to that way right now, so I will be doing, I think, um, two sets uh, with um, 70 pounds, so one of 10 and the last one of five, and then I will move on uh, to the next exercise. Um, yeah, normally I, I wait, as I say, probably a couple of minutes uh, between sets, but when it comes to big compounds, I will wait uh, up to four or five minutes. So yeah, just wait for the next set. Okay guys, so I'm now to the, up to the second set with about 50 pounds. And I will try to get at least 15 reps. Let's see how it goes. Okay, this one uh, was pretty good, I think. 
And yeah, I will move on uh, to the next set shortly. Okay guys, I'm now at 60 pounds and I will try to get probably at least 10 reps, I'll say. So what I like to do between uh, sets is also to sip on a bit of water or BCAAs uh, at least uh, try to stay hydrated which actually is very important over time especially if you are doing a long training to keep your heart rotation level in, in check otherwise you will uh, see your performance start decreasing and actually I experienced that a lot because uh, I used to cycle, um, like on the road, we rode bike, so that was a very demanding sport and hydration was key, especially on long distances. So this is the second last set, I have the full stack, it's about 70 pounds of dumbbell, uh, I'll try to get at least 10 reps as well, and then uh, move on to the last set with 5. So as you might have noticed, uh, when I approach my working set, or uh, at least uh, as heavy as I can, I start wearing wrist wraps. Uh, first of all, because uh, um, it helps for uh, protection and support, and also because uh, I like to have a suicide grip, so I don't engage the much uh, the forearm when I uh, grab the dumbbell. So I like to have a, a little bit of a support on my wrist when he's in this position. So yeah, with that said, I will now move to the last set of uh, flat dumbbell press and then uh, to the next exercise. So this is the last set of five with 70 pounds and then I will move on to some uh, over a tricep extension with both hands and uh, I will finish off with some dips. So yeah, that was the last set, um, normally I will go, as I said before, for uh, 80 pounds, but I don't have access to the weight right now, and uh, yeah, considering that I'm a bit weaker than before, probably not being able to train the constantly, I think the 70 is good enough right now, and probably slowly I will build up my strength again. So yeah, I will see you for the 
tricep extensions. So I will be now doing tricep extensions and um, for this particular exercise and usually when I target small muscle groups I like to keep uh, the blood flowing so I do sets almost uh, back to back. I don't weigh uh, the longest uh, for, uh, I don't know, for chest or uh, legs when you basically train big muscle groups. Also, for instance, when I do calves, I do the same, when I do biceps as well. So yeah, I will start with about 20 pounds, I think, then I move on to 40 and then finish off with 60. So about, I think, 20 reps each. So I admit guys that the shape of this dumbbell is a bit odd for particular exercises, but uh, I found out that actually can be used uh, to your advantage for some others. For instance, I can put uh, both of them on my shoulder and they can stay almost flat for the particular shape that they have, where they actually the metal block attach, attach and um, I can squat with them basically. Uh, I wouldn't put too much weight for a balance reason mainly, but yeah, you can do that. So with that say, I will move on now to 40 pounds. So guys, you can also let me know in the comments what type of uh, exercises you, want, you would like me to show you and uh, usually after um, a training session I finish up with some core, it could be uh, planks variations or um, just normal or different type of crunches actually. And if you're interested in seeing that, uh, one day I might just record a video of my ab sessions. And uh, about warming up, actually, um, if you don't have any idea, you can even get a rope and just uh, warm up with that. It's very effective and I really like uh, because uh, engage your whole body. So basically you can go straight down and train uh, whatever body part, essentially. So let me get some water and then I will do 60s.
Yeah, I couldn't quite get the last one, but that's all good. I will move up to dips right now. So guys, I will be now doing dips, just a couple of sets to, sets to finish off. And yeah, um, I really, really like the dip machine, but here I just will be using a chair. And in order to get uh, as much weight as possible, um, I like to go just with the tip of my heels on the chair, basically. And uh, I try to keep my elbows as close to the body as possible. And yeah, just go down as much as you can. So first set done, and by the way guys, if you want to know my PR on the bench, comment below and ask. Uh, let me get some water. Start feeling the pump, last set. Okay, and I'm done. Uh, we'll be now moving on doing a bit of core as I said and if you like uh, to see my core um, set of uh, exercises I will be happy to share them with you. Just let me know in the comment below as I said before. And what I find out about these dips is actually that they target a bit more the triceps rather than the lower chest, like uh, on the machine, but hey, that's what I, that's what I can do. And uh, yeah, until the next time, stay safe. And a little bonus for uh, who watched the videos until the end, a uh, little tricep and uh, arm pose down. Okay guys, I see you in the next one.